The top two issues this week are definitely flu and stomach viruses. Now, flu continues to tick up in several areas, and stomach viruses continue at the high levels that we've now been seeing for several weeks. Here's what's going around near you. In Wayne County, Children's Hospital is seeing an increase in kids with influenza, which isn't typical for this time of year. Dr. Stephen Rockoff at Henry Ford reports flu as well, plus a rise in stomach viruses, likely a norovirus, and a slight uptick in COVID cases. The CVS Minute Clinics are treating upper respiratory infections, ear infections, and bronchitis. Over to Oakland County, Dr. Stephen McGraw at Ascension Providence says strep throat is making a comeback and he's seeing some patients with the flu. Dr. Tim O'Neill at Clarkson Medical Group is treating flu, croup, stomach viruses, and a little COVID. The CVS Minute Clinics report some cases of pink eye. Checking out Washtenaw County, Michigan Medicine continues to see a lot of children with stomach viruses and respiratory infections like colds and bronchiolitis. On the adult side, they're treating upper respiratory infections as well. The health department says flu cases continue to increase in the county. Heading to Monroe County, the ER at ProMedica Monroe Regional reports respiratory illnesses are still high. They're also seeing colds and sinus infections. ProMedica Monroe Family Medicine is also seeing a lot of respiratory illnesses. Moving to Macomb County, ER Dr. Christopher Seamus at McLaren Macomb reports an uptick in flu patients and high volumes of viral upper respiratory infections along with a few stomach viruses. The CVS Minute Clinics are also treating flu, coughs, and impetigo. That's a bacterial skin infection that mainly affects babies and young children. It causes reddish sores on the face, especially around the nose and mouth. Finally, in Livingston County, St. Joseph Mercy Livingston and the Brighton Health Center are still seeing stomach viruses and flu cases. Now, it's really important to stress, we are still seeing people testing positive for COVID-19, so if you have symptoms, don't assume it's just a cold. You need to get tested to be sure. Now, that's still key to keeping community spread low.